Thank you for watching my video. Today I'm changing the brake rotors and pads on my Mazda 3. I decided to purchase aftermarket rotors and brake pads for the replacements. I will be including a list of tools that I use for this job. Start with cleaning the rotors from any oils. Next, I'm jacking up the car. Make sure that the e-brake is not set. Here we have a view of the back of the caliper. The plan is to remove the caliper, the brake pads, and then the caliper bracket, and then the rotor. Remove the top and bottom caliper bolt covers. Remove the top and bottom caliper bolts. With both bolts removed, you can now remove the caliper. I now have a clear view to the caliper bracket that is next to be removed. Here I'm spraying some penetrating fluid. This will help the bolts loosen faster. Using a breaker bar and rotating the wheel so that the rotor has better clearance, I can now remove the bracket bolt. With the caliper bracket out of the way, I can now remove the rotor. I ended up using a hammer to loosen the sides. I can now install the new aftermarket rotor. I'm adding blue thread locker to the caliper bracket bolts and the caliper bolts. Next is to reinstall the caliper bracket. Tighten the caliper bracket bolts. Torque the copper bracket bolts. For my model, I set it to 75 foot pounds. For the brake pads, make sure that you have a matching set. Using a caliper piston compressor, press the piston until it is flush with the caliper. On the back of every brake pad, apply some brake grease. Apply on every metal on metal contact area. For the brake pad that goes towards the back, you do need to apply some pressure so that the metal contact goes inside the piston. Try to start with one side and work your way through the others. Just apply even pressure.
Installing the front facing brake pad is easy, just simply place it. The brake pads won't fit if you install them incorrectly, so there's no wrong way of completing this portion. Installing the caliper back in its place, the brake pads should fall within its grooves. Insert the caliper bolts. Tighten the caliper bolts. Torque the caliper bolts. For my model, I set it to 35 foot pounds. Insert caliper caps. Install caliper guide pin. The rest of the video is me going through the same process with my rear brakes. With the rear caliper pistons, they're required to be pushed and churned. I just use a simple pair of pliers and pushed while churning.
Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.